This 2024 has given us a lot of new guns we wish to bring home if we have the extra bucks, and permission from our wives, I suppose. The 9mm market in particular has more new offerings, and to be honest, it's like a gift that keeps on giving. But you know me. I still have to point out that not all of these goodies are the same. Some perform better than others, and that's just normal. You can't expect all those production guns to exhibit the same kind of performance on the range. Based on my tests and feedback from other gunners, I was able to list down probably the most accurate models among the bunch. What's up, everyone? This is your boy Ted from Line 45. This episode allows me to showcase my top picks for the most accurate of all the new 9mm pistols released in 2024. Before we get underway, please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I know it feels like a hassle, but those simple clicks mean a lot for my channel. Now, let's return to the video. Canic TTI Combat One of the biggest surprises in the firearms market in 2024 was the Canic TTI Combat. It's not just an ordinary Canic pistol, it uses a different frame designed by Terran Butler of Terran Tactical Innovations. So, while it is true that it looks like the SFX rival of Canic, the polymer frame of the TTI Combat is a different species entirely. The Conic TTI Combat displays stunning accuracy, thanks to a number of reasons. First, it has a twin port external compensator, which is a new feature introduced in a Conic gun. The compensator is beveled and finished so that it can complement the slide and is directly attached to the muzzle of its fluted barrel. One interesting fact about this compensator, aside from aiding the gun's overall accuracy, is that it doesn't go against states with strict regulations on threaded barrels. Another thing that made the Canic TTI Combat accurate is its sights. These sights are dovetailed and consist of a high-vis front sight and a serrated rear sight. Of course, similar to other modern striker-fired pistols, its slide is already cut for optics, so with these sighting options, it's very easy to keep track of your targets. The low recoil of the Canic TTI Combat also allows for quick zeros. Next, allow me to talk about its trigger. It's flat-faced and made from aluminum. It has an integral safety lever that is notably wide and checkered. It has minimal pre-travel and breaks cleanly at around three pounds or so. The reset is phenomenally short, tactile, and if you pay attention, audible. For a striker-fired trigger, this one doesn't disappoint and gives its users more means of controlling their shots. Right from the box, the Canic TTI Combat is already a complete pistol. All the accessories you need from a gun are already present. No need to invest on aftermarket upgrades, unless you want to replace its holster. On the range, this pistol is scarily accurate. I said that because it's a sub $1,000 polymer gun and still exhibits a competition grade accuracy and reliability. It feeds on different 9mm ammo, even the dirt cheap ones too. Beretta 9211 Squalo. It's a bit of a surprise that the Beretta 9211 Squalo doesn't always get on people's radar. So far, it's one of my favorite new pistols in 2024, not just because it's a Beretta, but because its range performance is actually good. I can recommend it right away if you need an accurate and highly reliable 9mm. Based on my initial runs with this gun, it's completely capable of hitting an average of 1.5-inch groupings from 10 5-shot groups. If I use a red dot, I think this number will get a lot smaller. The Beretta 9211 Squalo is a single-action, hammer-fired pistol. The single-action match trigger has a pull weight of more or less 5 pounds, and from what I observed, the trigger operates smoothly. It's very crisp, and the reset is fast. Beretta didn't lie when it said that it made the 9211 Squalo a race gun. It has a standard capacity of 22 plus 1 round, and features new configurations that are distinct from the original Beretta 92. For example, its back strap has been straightened. No more curves can be found. This change is not meant for aesthetics. It actually helps its operators get a high grip, which in turn shortens the trigger reach and improves control and accuracy. I also noticed that its recoil is smooth and light, which allowed me to achieve quick follow-ups. The iron sights returned to zero quickly, which kept me on my targets. Glock 17L Gen 5 do you want solid accuracy fresh from the box? Then you should get the Glock 17, or what we call as the Glong. Well, the Glock 17L isn't actually new. It was around in 1988, 
but it only adopted the fifth generation configuration in 2024. For starters, the Glock 17L is still a Glock 17, except that it has an extremely long slide. It's even possible that it has the longest slide among all handguns right now. In particular, the slide of this gun measures 8.9 inches long, and no full-size guns in my arsenal can come close to it. The frame it uses is still your typical Glock 17 frame, but it now supports a 6-inch barrel, which gives enough sight radius to bolster its accuracy. Moreover, the longer barrel improves the ballistic velocity of this pistol. Since it's already a Gen 5 Glock, the Glock 17L now uses a Glock Marksman barrel, which of course is far better than the previous barrels used by Glock pistols. It yields better accuracy and reliability, and for the most part brings the best out of every 9mm ammo out there. The new Glock 17L is in a MOS configuration, meaning that you can attach red dots to it. The trigger has been improved and so have the sights, but I still recommend you swap them for better aftermarket options. The finger grooves are gone, finally, and they have been replaced by a modular grip frame that enables the use of interchangeable back straps. At 25 yards, this lengthy Glock can maintain sub 2 inch groupings, and that's pretty much the standard, even without using a red dot. FN 509 CC Edge XL The FN 509 is a big deal, as it was designed for the U.S. Army's Modular Handgun System program. Of course, we all know that it didn't get the contract, but its participation in the said program has established its popularity, especially in the modular firearms market. Right now, it has over 15 variations, with the latest being the CC Edge XL, which was just introduced in 2024. As you might expect, the FN 509 CC Edge XL includes all the basic features of the original CC Edge. It comes with a detachable compensator that reduces its recoil, increases its accuracy, and equips a cold hammer-forged stainless steel barrel. Its steel slide has lightning cuts, which also helps in its cycling speed, weight, and muzzle flip. The slide's fiber front sight and notched rear sight are on top. They have a low profile, which allows for co-witnessing with red dots. The XL model of the FN 509cc Edge gives more real estate on its grip, so instead of just having a standard capacity of 12 rounds, this one now feeds on a 17-round mag and even features a built-in magazine well that improves reloading speed. Its flat face trigger is fantastic. It's crisp, light, and doesn't creep at all. It's truly responsive and built to execute quick follow-ups without losing your control or precision. With a bigger architecture, the FN 50C CC Edge XL puts bullets on targets with relative ease. It maintains tight groups from 10 to 25 yards, even while using different 9mm ammo. Its accuracy is repeatable and not just a fluke. Well, that's something that you should expect from a handgun made for the military. Walther PDP Match Steel Frame In terms of competition-grade accuracy, the Walther PDP Match Steel Frame is on the map. In particular, I want to showcase its 5-inch barrel model, as it also has a smaller compact version. Both of these guns are fantastic, but you can certainly get more target precision with the full-size model because of its longer barrel and better sight radius. Specifically, this pistol measures 8.4 inches long and comes with a 5-inch barrel. It stands 5.9 inches tall and has a weight of a little over 2 pounds when unloaded. This tall gun enables it to feed on an 18-round flush-fit magazine or a 20-round extended mag. Aside from having a longer frame, the gun also has a high-cut beaver tail, which, of course, enhances your grip on the pistol. I also don't disdain the fact that it's a heavy gun. By all means, the additional weight keeps the recoil of this metal PDP to a minimum. I have the polymer PDP, so I can really compare the muzzle flip between the two pistols. The PDP match steel frame shoots flatly, which in turn improves its overall range accuracy. Another aspect of the new PDP that makes it extremely accurate is its dynamic performance trigger. This new trigger system, based on my observations, decreased the weight, reset, and take-up of its flat face trigger. So, every time I pull it, I can feel its crisp and clean operation. It's very responsive, has minimal pre-travel, and features zero creep. In the range, its accuracy is unbelievable, especially if you toss a red dot on the equation. At 15 yards, 
I was able to maintain a sub 1.5 inch grouping from 10 five shot groups using this pistol. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more gun videos like this, just click the subscribe button and notification bell. Take care and stay safe.